All right, here we go. This is going to be a look at Frank Sierras from the Long Beach, California Sting. Uh, <laughs> a uh, an interesting one here because you know he doesn't sit down with Chris Hansen, of course. Uh, he gets or you know the the they go off location for this one. They go to a park and arrest him. Right, but still interesting. It's still like it's still a funny segment here. Some of the things that happens are, are pretty funny. Um, so I've I, and I've been getting into it this past week. I uh, I watched this a couple of times over the past week, and uh, <laughs> it did make me laugh. So I I had to do a fucking video on it here. So so Frank Sierra, yes. Yeah, so it's 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 gonna be a good one. I hope I hope anyway. So let's get into it. Let's go. Another potential predator who has a history with perverted justice. He doesn't want to come to our house either, so our decoy is now waiting for him in the park. Uh, so yeah. our Dateline's <laughs> camera. I love that there's a guy, just a random guy here. I mean, obviously, obviously the decoy looks ridiculous. Um, we'll, we'll get into that, of course, as we get into it here. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, obviously the waiting blonde wig just looks absolutely awful. <laughs> from in the park but i love it who's this random bloke so here in the background just running like what is he what is he doing he's just running across the grass here it's not like on a path or anything you know he's just kind of running i don't so know it looks like he's like maybe running after like a frisbee or a ball or something i don't know but he's like <laughs> so he's like I'm humbling and stumbling in the background there lines maybe, I don't, you know it's like it looks like he's trying to like hold his pants up at the same time too oh our <laughs> I don't know who that is. Like, I wonder if that guy knew that, hey, he made, like, a quick cameo here on, on Dateline, you know? <laughs> and, um, you know, what, what is he doing? You know, maybe, maybe that's, like, a producer or something. Somebody running back and forth, you know, between Dateline and the police, you know, acting as the liaison, you know, between between the point of communication between Dateline and the police or something. I don't know, but you know, it's just, I always, I find that funny. There's just some random bloke running in the background here. <laughs> I guess it is a park, right? So, I mean, it makes sense, right? But, you know, it's still funny. It's just, like, one random bloke, and he's just, Running across the grass, you know. So are Dateline's cameras. He's 48-year-old <laughs> Frank Sierra. And there he is. There's our boy right there, Frank Sierra. And that, you know, it makes me laugh too. Like this is like a, this is such an old picture of him. <laughs> like <laughs> compared to what we see him at the end, this is such an old picture. Like this picture must be at least 10 years old of him. I would say anyway. I would guess, anyway, that this picture has to be at least 10 years old. And it's like, it's like, it's like a perfect contrast, you know, it's like, this guy is like professional looking, I'm very professional, you know, very professional looking, and, um, you know, very, guy's best formal wear on, his suit, and, uh, you know, I mean, and, um, you know, compared to when he shows up looking like he looks like a complete fucking slob. <laughs> so, it's a big, complete... 180, you know, not just in terms of looks here, but the uh, the appearance is about the dress that he's wearing, you know, the, the uh, his attire. It's a, a complete 180. And it, it's funny, too, because see, this picture, for whatever reason, always reminded me of, like, Robert De Niro, like a young Robert De Niro. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Hey, this is Bob De Niro. I loved your script. Um, let's see. Robert De Niro young. I don't know. Uh, could be... Uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm way off base here, but I don't know, maybe that kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe that one, no, I think I'm, I think I'm just off base, but I don't know, for whatever reason, it just reminded me of, of Rob De Niro, I don't know why, um, you know, maybe it's the, maybe it's the italian of him, I don't know, I like to picture this one too, as well as this picture here, taken at like a, uh, you know, like a big formal uh, Italian, you know, family get together, you know, where he's got like eight, hundreds, like just fucking hundreds of people. And Italian families are fucking huge, man. You know, so this guy's like hundreds of people in like a ballroom or something, you know, having a great time dancing, you know, eating salami and shit like that. <laughs> and, um, you know, just, 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 just having a grand old time, <laughs> and then he uses that picture. You know, it's like it's like that's that's the picture. You know, a highlight of his life. And uh, you know, using that as his profile picture on on Yahoo or whatever Yahoo Sierras. 
Back in 2004, before Dateline was working with Perverted Justice, Sierra's using the screen name Pitbull David Pitbull 2001. David. Chat- that doesn't even make sense. Pitbull David. That doesn't even make any sense. What is that? It, it was, you have a Pitbull named David, and that's the year 2001. <laughs> what does it make sense? Put it online with a decoy who said she was 13. He sent the decoy pictures of yeah. his penis. Oh my and God. told her, I want to make love to you. I know I will say I love you when I'm making love to you. <laughs> <Back then. laughs> what the fuck? Um, what the fuck? So one thing here, you know, <laughs> I know I will say I love you when I'm making love to you. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that? That's your biggest, you know, that's that. That's your go to line there, Frank. Uh, I don't know about that one, man. You know, oh man, you know, just in the middle of it, you know, it's, I mean, he's a complete groomer. He is a definitely, you know, a complete and utter groomer, you know, in case, you know, uh, a flying example of, of, of a typical internet groomer, right? But, I mean, like, come on, that's fucking, that's a ridiculous line there, Frank, I, I gotta tell you. But another thing, too, it's funny because Perverted Justice, they're throwing up his chat log here from 2004, I think they said it was, and they put it on his, on their website. And it's funny because they had to, like, go back and now put that one on there, too. <laughs> you know, it's like, this guy has, like, three different chat logs, I think. Um, something like that. But, you know, like, like, like when they did that back in the day, like, they, they, they put, like, their, their chat logs on there, their address, their phone number on there if they had it, right? <laughs> and they would just, and they would, they would lightly, you know, encourage, quote, unquote, you know, their readers to, to go and, um, and, you know, harass them, I guess, basically. And, you know, after that, I mean, I'm assuming that's what the, tre- the same treatment that Frank got. <laughs> so after that, after all the harassment, I'm sure his family knew, his his, his, his employer, if he was working, uh, knew, found out about it. You know, he's still, he's still in, you know, he's still just like, yeah, whatever. I don't have anything to lose, I guess. I can just do it again two years later. It's fine. Back then, Perverted Justice put his chat on its website. But Sierras was never charged with any crime. Then, two years later, during Dateline's investigation in Petaluma, California, Sierras began another sexually explicit chat with a decoy who told him she was 13. <laughs> what the fuck? Hollister. And- oh, God. Okay, okay. Well, we have to get into that. It's like, wait, what is this fucking sick? I'm, it's actually, he's actually in Hollister. I think that's like a uh, decoy comment. You know, I don't know. I don't have his chat log pulled up. I, uh... I apologize here. Maybe it'll find it here. I'm interested. And there it is. There's the glamour shot again. Pulkit. Shout out to Pulkit. Uh, Hollister. Oh, Hollister, California. Oh, wow. He's actually from the... Uh... Okay, that makes sense then. I thought he was talking about Hollister, the store. It's actually He's actually from the Hollister, California. That's pretty cool. You know. Um, well, I mean, it's, I mean, whatever, <laughs> but it's a shitty beach town, if I'm, if I'm remembering it correctly. Um, uh, maybe not. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like a fancy town, you know, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know much about it, but I'm just, I thought, I thought they were talking about Hollister, the, the store. I was like, wait, how is that going to fit into the conversation? Like the decoy shops at Hollister or something? I don't fucking know, but, um, 13 female safe. <laughs> Ooh. What does that mean? Is that, what the fuck is that? SSF. Yeah, whatever. I guess they fucked and edited that in post production or something. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just go. Boy who told him she was 13. And. Uh, <laughs> <one second. laughs> Sorry, I forgot that this was coming back. So, yeah, this is one of the most hideous, hideous, hideous shots <laughs> in all of T Capital right here. Okay, first of all, you got Frag with his fucking humongous, you know, self here, you know, is his typical. Triple chin action going on here. He's got the Brooklyn Dodgers hat on, which is kind of cool. But, um, you know, I mean, if that wasn't bad, bad enough, you have somebody's fucking disgusting fucking bare feet just hanging out here during the shot. Like, oh, it's so gross. <laughs> oh, my God. I believe it's Dell. I mean, we'll see it in another shot as well. It's in it's they, they, the feet make a cameo here in the uh, a few times here in this in this clip. And um, I believe it's Dell's feet. They are Dell's feet. Dell Harvey's 
feet. And, uh, man, I mean, it's fucking gross, though, man. I mean, I, I get I get it. Like, and shout out, you know, someone might have a foot fetish right now watching this. It's like, oh, those are nice feet, actually. And it's funny, too, because Alvin King is the one that's before this. He's the foot fetish guy. He's one of the foot fetish guys. He's the guy who ran the website hotbarefootwomen.com. Uh, and uh, he says he likes to suck on toes. His, his screen name is Soul Pleaser. <laughs> and so anyways, so he, he would be, oh man, he would be in his glory right now. But anyways, anyways. Um, yeah, so I mean, that, I, mean I, I get, I get you know, it's, it's a long day. You know, I, I imagine it's a long day, stressful day. Sometimes you just want to put your fucking feet up. I get, I get it, I get it, I get it. But man, I mean, that is, that is gross man that is gross you just have your bare feet hanging out there in public you know someone i worked uh with or work with i guess recently uh a couple months ago i guess had their feet off had their shoes off in the office and were walking around barefoot i was like what the fuck oh my god like what is wrong with some people fucking monsters anyway <laughs> it's just like it's like I don't, I don't understand it though i don't understand it you know What's wrong, with, what's, what's, what, 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 what's wrong with socks, you know? It was a setup, but afterwards he was remorseful that he didn't. Fast forward to our current investigation. That same perverted justice decoy tells Sierras she's visiting a friend in Long Beach. <laughs> Just coincidentally, you know, oh, I got a friend in Long Beach. I don't know how far, I think it's pretty far. Petaluma to Long Beach, California. That's got to be a drive, man. Petaluma to Long Beach. Ah, fucking hell, I can't type. It's just the setup that I'm in. It's just, I have my arm wrapped around my microphone right now. It's kind of difficult for me to type. Yeah, fuck yeah! Six hours, 38 minutes? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh yeah, I'm just coincidentally going to visit a friend in Long Beach. That's seven hours away from me, pretty much. Wow, that is incredible. Like, <laughs> this guy fucking fell for it. Jesus Christ. Um... Wow, that is incredible, man. <laughs> Dude, that is incredible. How did they pull this off, man? Yeah, I was going to say, because Petaluma was up there by San Francisco, <laughs> as Maurice Wolin would say. And, uh, you know, that is, a, uh, that is a hike, man. That is a fucking hike. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, you can fucking take a flight from San Francisco to, to L.A. area. You know, San Diego, Long, L.A., whatever. You know, you can take a flight for that. And you're going to drive seven hours almost to fucking get there. Wow, man, that is incredible. Like, 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 what are the chances that she has a fucking friend in Long Beach? You know, I mean, or, uh, yeah, Long Beach, sorry. Um, you know, what, how is that, how is that, how, like, just, just by chance, 13-year-old. I mean, I guess, you know, if you move around, yes, but, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, why would anyone do that like that is ridiculous or they agree to a meeting in the park and now our decoy is waiting for sierras to arrive are we copying this everybody everybody on this and and we're on about this? to and find <laughs> out <laughs> there he is sierras has a violent past uh-oh it's interesting because they cut his segment into you know they split it up in between the commercial like one of the only predators i think to get his segment you know split like that they come right back to it here after the commercial 48-year-old Frank Sierras is driving more than 300 miles to get to Long Beach. He's coming to meet a girl he chatted with. So I guess I, so I, guess I should say, I guess I should look up, I guess, where he drove from. So he was from Hollister. So Hollister, uh, now it thinks I want all the fucking stores here. No, I don't want all the fucking stores here. So he's five hours. So he cuts that out, he cuts it, cuts down the travel time a little bit, yes. But the good news is that it looks like it's like a straight shot, you know. Um... Yo, just on I-5 the entire time, pretty much. That's gotta be a, uh, that's gotta be a uh, good looking drive. Or you could take the scenic route here <laughs> and go this way for, you know, a little bit longer drive, but you probably get a better view as you get kind of get down the coastline a bit. Either way, of course, it's fucking ridiculous, but, <laughs> you know, um... Yeah, but, I mean, like, in his, in his mind, it's like, oh, it's too good to be true, you know? I don't know. With online, forty-eight-year-old male coming for a thirteen-year-old female. <laughs> there you go. There's the feet but again. But for this meeting, the decoy is waiting in a park because Sierra said he didn't want to meet at the house. He's now inbound about five to six hours from his house to come all the way here, and then take her back up there to where her mother lives. <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> so again, again, we got the better, we got the extended, we got the zoomed out shot here, and I believe this is Dell. Kind of looks different there, I guess, but it is Dell, I believe. And then they're gonna get to see the feet shot. Yeah, at least they're not up like on the fucking desk, I guess. But uh, it's still gross. But yeah, I mean, so he wants to make it like a round trip fucking thing, man. Like he wants to go. He's gonna go from. He's gonna go from like uh, where's he at? Hollister, five hours away. He's gonna drive to Long Beach, and he's gonna drive all the way back from Long Beach back to uh, Petaluma. Dude, that is fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Dude, like, that's, like, a complete waste of fucking time, man. Like, how do you have that much free time on your hands and you're gonna do that round trip, man? Dude, that is incredible. Um, you know, I mean, because it's funny because, you know, it's like, I guess he's not working or something because, you know, that'd be, like, an entire weekend. Like, you know, like, even me, I'm thinking about going to a concert in, uh, uh Connecticut. <laughs> and it's, like, it's, like, two hours away from where I live. And even I'm, like, fuck, do I really want to drive four hours round trip to go to a concert? You know? Lamb of God, by the way. Lamb of God. Megadeth. Um, I'm thinking about it. Um, <clears throat> later in the spring, I guess it is. And, um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm thinking, is it really worth it to do a four-hour round trip to go there? But I, I think it is, because fuck it. And it's on a Friday anyway, so it's not like I'm going to have to, like, worry about, you know, work or anything like that, right? So, um, but, you know, I mean, this guy, man, he's, like, willing to kill an entire weekend, let's say, or, or you know, he's, like, he's just like, man, he's got so <laughs> he's like he's like that is unfathomable to me you know i mean dude i mean i get that he's a fucking predator and he just wants to get his sick kicks in here <laughs> but then you gotta figure you could if you put the effort in i mean he's clearly putting in a lot of effort you know he's going through the chat room since at least 2004 probably earlier and he's been doing it for two years at this point you know, he's still, two years later, he's still, you know, he's still uh, interested in it. You know, it wasn't just a one-time thing. It was, a, it was a, you know, we came back to it two years later. And he's still going for it. And, um, yeah, you know, he just... <laughs> if he, I'm sure he could have found someone a little bit closer. Not that, obviously, not that obviously that I want it. Not, obviously, not that I want him to go and find another, you know, an actual victim, you know. But I'm just saying, like, obviously, he could have... I'm sure he could have found something a little bit closer to where he lives, man. Like, was there anything really special about this decoy? You know, oh, man, I didn't want to hurt her feelings, you know, all that bullshit. Fuck this guy. Where her mother lives. According to Perverted Justice, Sierra's had a sexual chat with an underage decoy before. Yeah. Now, using the screen name Cali Guy for You 2005. <laughs> of course, so now he, two years later, he has to rebrand himself as Cali Guy for You 2005. I wonder why he had to switch, you know, accounts. I actually, I probably understand why because when they put his when they put his uh, info out there on the uh, Perverted Justice website, he probably got a bunch of hate mail and, and all that shit, you know? So he had to rebrand himself as Cali Guy for you. Yeah, that's right. This is my new alias now, you know? You know, Pitbull David 2001. That's in the past, man. You know, uh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is a new start for me. Cali Guy for you. And I like the sound of that. I like the ring of that. You know, and again, I don't know why. Always puts the years on that <laughs> at the end of it. I don't quite understand that, but... Uh, yeah, you know, that's like a that's a popular thing, I guess, in these chat rooms. You know, I mean, of course, hold you closer, two thousand three. You know, all that shit. You know, they just put the year in there. <laughs> they started. I've Sierra's <laughs> chatted online for almost a month with a decoy who said she was thirteen. Remember, in his earlier chat, he sent that picture of his penis and talked about Ugh. making love to a thirteen-year-old. Well, this time he's much more careful about what he says. But perverted justice explains why he's still dangerous. He is really definitely trying to gain the confidence of this child and make her feel special and important. And uh, in a lot of ways, the log isn't the most graphic, but it's it's very sickening to read when you realize it's total manipulation of the child. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that there. We get a... Uh... We get a frag uh, explanation there from Frag. Frag is usually pretty silent in this. You know, he's 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 seen, he's heard. You know, he, he comes in with the chat, and you know, he comes in with the uh, you know, oh, rolling up, rolling up. Uh oh, you know, uh, you know, this that's our that's our avalanche, Mike, twenty nine years old. Can I rape you, Italy? But he never gets like extended screen time like that. You know, it's pretty interesting, and uh, you know. He's pretty casual at it too, you know, he's just sitting back, chilling, got his Hawaiian shirt on, bought, uh, 
Brooklyn Dodgers hat on. I almost said Boston Red Sox. It's okay. And, um, you know, he's, 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 you know, he can't even be bothered to turn the chair, <laughs> you know, 90 degrees and face the camera. He's just kind of like, yeah. Yeah, you know, total manipulation of a child, you know, as he's got his head turned, person in the background just chilling, can't, couldn't be less interested in what's being said here, it's all good, it's all good. Total manipulation of a child. All through the chat, the 48-year-old Sierras compliments the girl. Total you're the groomer. nicest girl I've chatted with in a long time. <laughs> Aw, you're sweet. He says he wants to buy her flowers, clothes, and chocolates. He even sends her a picture of an audio <laughs> player he bought for her. Wow. So that is a, uh, it's like a knockoff iPod, of course, you know, FM radio, two gigs. I mean, I get that it was, uh, you know, 2006, you know, the storage capacity was not as, uh, you know, heavy as it was uh, today, obviously. And even just a few years later, like, I mean, uh, I remember my first iPod touch was eight gigs, I believe. So, I mean, but, you know, I remember my first iPod as well was a, uh, one of the shuffles, the OG shuffle as well. The one that had like the, uh. You could wear it as a necklace. <laughs> um, iPod Shuffle Original. My first iPod was uh, this one. Yeah, this one. Um, and it was like one gig, I think. Maybe even less. Maybe it was 512 uh, megabytes. I don't even remember. But, um, yeah, no, I think it was the one gig one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, that is fucking OG right there. But, um you know, um, what was I gonna say? I don't even remember what the fuck I was gonna say now. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, but you know, I mean, you're gonna run out of space quick. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, you're gonna run out of space quick on two gigs. You know, I mean, that is uh, what maybe a couple hundred songs. I don't even know. Um, I mean, it didn't matter to me when I was a kid because when I was a kid, I had so like I was like six or seven when I got this. Um, and um, you know, I didn't really know music very well. I just wanted one because you know it's like, oh, it's an iPod, man. I gotta have it, man. Gotta have that status signal for the fucking, you know, uh, and, and you know, second grade. You know, gotta fucking look like a cool kid. You know, <laughs> not that I even think I, I don't even think I brought it to school. But either way, you know, it's just like it's just like I wanted the fucking iPod, man. You know, it's like all oh, everyone was fucking talking about the fucking iPod. You know, so, anyways. Um, so it's not like I, I was ever close to running out of space or anything, but I do remember my 8-gig iPod Touch I ran out of space on. Um, yeah, so I had to get rid of a lot of shit on there because I just had so much music on there. So, um, you know, I also had a I also had a Nano, an iPod Nano, the purple one. It was a purple one. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, so but, but this is just a knockoff one as well. You know, it's got an FM radio at least, which I don't know how that worked, if it worked well or not. I know that that was a... Uh, a selling point of the Microsoft Zunes back in the day. Shout out. Uh, shout out to Microsoft as well, buying fucking Activision for $70 billion. Damn, son. But, um, yeah, you know, if, the, the, you know, who knows how this worked. But that, that, that would be a selling point because the original iPods did not fucking have that until later. I remember my Nano had it, uh, but that was like a later generation one. So um, it did have the radio with it. Not that I ever used it, because like, what the fuck? If you have an iPod, I mean, I guess if you don't have music, you don't want to buy shit off of iTunes, you don't want to burn your CDs, you don't want to pirate any music. Radio would give you some music to listen to, I guess, but I mean, like, that would never be, like, a selling point for me. But uh, that's just me. Uh, did I... Did I... <laughs> <laughs> Did I take long enough on the fucking iPod tangent here? Jesus Christ, let's just he keep going. Four. We're already Here's 23, we're already fucking 23 minutes into this. Jesus getting. Christ. I hope you don't mind. Let's go back. Here's the MP player you're getting. I hope you don't mind pink. <laughs> Aw, you're kidding. But Sierra's oh, also man. tells her she's sexy. Talks about her bra size <laughs> and about what kind of underwear oh, she has man. on. They're not thongs, are they? Bikini. Bikini. Oh, those are hot. Oh, those are That'd hot. That'd be cool if you could model them for me. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. So, I never understood this. Like, he's offended that they're not uh, thongs, which is kind of gross to think about on a fucking 13-year-old girl. But, you know, um, I'm wondering, like, how did that come up in the conversation here? They're not thongs, are they? Are they orange? What the fuck? We got an orange fetish there, buddy? Um, no, you need to get some. Your favorite color. Oh, okay, I see. That's her favorite color. It's orange, but she doesn't... Oh, God, that's gross. Um, but, yeah, I don't know why he's, like, considered... Like, he's, like, offended that they're not thongs, or they... He doesn't want them to be thongs, you know? I don't know. Ugh, it's gross. Fucking gross motherfucker. 
You're a fucking gross motherfucker, Frank. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. Um. Yeah, no, that's gross. Kini. Oh, those are hot. That'd be cool if you could model them for him. <laughs> he wants to model. Oh, that's so gross, too. You know, and I never understood again what this uh, emoticon is, the uh, the X with the uh, as the face. I don't know. Is that supposed to be Kiss? Because Kiss is is star, isn't it? Is it not uh, emoticon? Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, so it doesn't recognize the fucking colon that I put in there. Okay, yeah. So Urban Dictionary. Okay, this is my go-to resource. Doesn't have... Yeah, I think he just fucked it up because... Emoticon for a kiss. Yeah, it's not kiss, though. Kiss is with the star. Um, okay, there's a bunch of differing uh, explanations here on Urban Dictionary. Now you can see what I was shopping for, I guess. Fucking Puma. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay uh you know it's funny because i have fucking ad block on but you figure you know these sometimes it sometimes it just doesn't work i guess that's okay uh so yeah I, I think he just got his emoticons mixed up because this is kiss the one with the fucking star should be kiss correct yeah yeah i knew i wasn't fucking stupid um it's just a kiss just a kiss it's a kiss can i have a kiss first can i have a kiss first let's keep going he says he'd like to spend the night with her and fondle and kiss her breasts. Where were they going to stay, I though? So so she, was, she was at a friend's house. Where were they going to stay? Was he going to get a hotel or something? I, I guess. And he wants to fondle the kiss breasts. Kiss her breasts. I bet they are so beautiful to just look at, let alone to touch and massage them. <laughs> I do like that. That line is pretty funny. I do like that line. It's probably my favorite line of this whole thing. Because, you know, it's funny because... Um, you know, I, 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 this line has popped up in my head over, over time. <laughs> if I see a nice rack or something, I'm just like, man, I, I want to see what those tits look like. I'll think of this guy's fucking line. It makes me laugh. I mean, it's not like I would ever say that to anyone in real life or anything, but I'm just saying like, it pops into my mind, you know, like, whoa, I want to see, I bet you those tits look really nice. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, I bet they're so beautiful to just look at, let alone to touch and massage them, you know? <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, the girl going. says she's visiting relatives in Long Beach. Sierra's offers to relatives. So now it's relatives. I thought it was a friend. Drive down and give her a ride back home. Yeah, we could even go to Disneyland or Magic Mountain. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. Now the decoy is here in the park, oh waiting God. for him. Imagine that, man. You got this fucking guy with the oh jeez. I mean, I, they were just thinking it was like a mother daughter or a father daughter outing i guess but i mean jesus christ like you want to go out like on a fucking date you know i mean that is ridiculous and screw it i guess uh fuck off uh knott's berry farm you're not included in that <laughs> you know disneyland magic mountain fuck you knott's berry farm i've been there um it was pretty good from what i recall it was like it was a while ago yeah i believe by doing that he felt that he could also survey the area and see who else was around and what the chances were that this <laughs> was a law enforcement Park. operation okay and in fact, the Long Beach police have the park surrounded, <laughs> and we're there with our cameras. According to his chat, Sierras is driving an SUV. But suddenly, he drives <laughs> up in a different vehicle. It's like so, like, so, like, he's not, like, I get why he's like, oh, I want to meet in a public place, but you're still, I mean, like, like rather than a house i get it right but this does not look any better <laughs> you know you know you see like a guy approaching a, a young girl uh you know and you're going to that you're gonna like if anyone sees that you know you're gonna raise questions like you're still in public trying to commit a crime here or committing a crime basically you know <laughs> it's like i'm not sure how that's any better at least if you go to a house I guess you're a bit more private i guess but i guess he's thinking oh he's just worried about it being dateline and you know, it was like, oh well, Dateline would never, never go to a to a to a to a park. You know, I got them out fooled here, man. I outsmarted them. And of course, this is like the pre bearer here to to them going to like the beach in fucking Flagler in New Jersey. You know, they're like, hey, we got we we can go off location. It's no problem, man. No problem at all. In a different vehicle, and approaches the decoy <laughs> again. You see, he looks like a fucking slob, man. I mean, Jesus Christ, he could. You wear, you know, wearing like a a, a sweatpants and a uh, you know like a like a like a what do you call it like a, one of those baseball fucking shirts, you know. Um, 
<clears throat> and, uh, you know, <laughs> just like a complete fucking slob, you know, I mean, you could have at least dressed a little bit nicer there, Frank. I mean, it's like, I, I mean, I get it. I love sweatpants. I'm wearing sweatpants right now. I fucking love sweatpants. But, uh, you know, I mean, if I was going out to meet somebody, you know, I wouldn't wear fucking sweatpants. You know, I would have looked a little bit more presentable here. Boy. <laughs> the conversation is hard. Yeah, that's a great opening line by the decoy, you know. Hey, I know I look completely different, but, you know, that's just the way I am, you know. I, I, I You look a little bit different, too, there, Frank. You look a bit fucking older and uh, a bit more gross than I recall. You looking in your profile pic. Fuck you. The here. You're asking about, your, you're talking about my appearance? What about your appearance there, Frank? Fuck you. But he's clearly <laughs> suspicious. The decoy's hair looks different from the online photo Sierra saw. I, I dyed my hair so it's not big. <laughs> As I walk over, <laughs> and it's interesting too because, um, you know, like like they tried to. I guess the decoy had a blonde had blonde hair, and it's like that is just like the most fake looking blonde hair that you know you ever seen, right? So even even though if it, even if it is matching the color, and again, I mean, I'm not even gonna point out the fucking obvious that the decoy is not uh, is not white, so it doesn't quite make sense. But I mean, it, whatever. Um, <laughs> so I mean, it's just, it's just a complete mix, mix, mish, mash here. And, you know, it's funny too, because I always wondered, you know, with Dateline, you know, NBC has their fucking money, you know, they have fucking money. I don't understand why they couldn't have just gotten another decoy or something. You know, why, why did they only have to have one decoy, like one female decoy, you know? I mean, they could have just gotten somebody else. I mean, maybe it was kind of short notice. I don't fucking know. But, you know, I mean, like, 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 like that's where they draw the fucking line on the expenses. Like, I don't know. But, you know, it doesn't make much sense to me, though. I mean, why they couldn't have just said, hey, maybe we can get another decoy. But I guess, I guess at this point, you know, once he's at the fucking park, it doesn't really matter. He's committed the fucking crime. They're just going to try. Anything else is just extra, I guess. But, I mean, they go to all this fucking trouble to get this guy to get here. You know, they have... People staking out, you know, the the, the 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 park. You know, they have they have the, the Dateline crew is there. I would have put a little bit more, you know, effort into it. You know, I would have just said, hey, let's go for the full fucking immersion here. You know, but that's just me. Whatever. I don't make the decisions. I'm not a big producer, I guess. Let's Walk go. over to talk to him. He's <laughs> he just fucking and takes run. off <laughs> with a light the jog. Make their move. <laughs> get He's gonna get away. Get the ground. Get the ground. <laughs> all right. Stop it. All right, all right. All right, all right. Just do what we tell you, all right? Who are you? We're the police, okay? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Fucking stupid question. Oh, my God. Like, what do you think? It's like a citizen's arrest or something? Like, I don't know. They're yelling at you to get down. They handcuffed you. What the fuck do you think it is? Who are you guys? And you can see, he doesn't look like... He doesn't look like uh, Rob De Niro here, of course. But, um, you know, he kind of looks like, to me, anyway, he looks like a younger version of Alan Churney. <laughs> like, before the back issues, you know? Like, like, and before, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, well, I guess without the fucking zit scars that littered his face, you know, he kind of looks like, a, like, Alan Churney a little bit. A little bit. Maybe, again, maybe I'm off base there, I don't know. Are you alright? Who are you? Who are you? Police, okay. Police. Okay, okay. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. <laughs> Oh. I'm doing a story on guys who try to meet children online for so fucking awkward. sex. Do you want to tell us anything about what you were doing in this chat with someone who identified themselves as a 13-year-old girl? We are going. We are going, you know. I don't know what Chris Hansen's goal was there. And she's like so awkward because he just wants to get going. The officers just want to keep going. Like they don't want to humor Chris Hansen here really with their, you know, they want to get on with the fucking process here, get him to the fucking station, you know, all that shit. And again, Chris Hansen, he's in custody, you know, anything you say can and will be used against you. <laughs> like, what is he going to say? Yeah, I fucking did it, man, I fucking did it, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pedophile, I'm a predator, you know, what the fuck, man, what do you expect? <laughs> even if he was going to say something, what, 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 even if this wasn't, you know, they weren't uh, kind of rushing to get him into the car, you know, what, what would you expect him to say? What would you want him to say here, you know? I'm fucked up, man, I'm fucked up. I don't know, but, uh, I don't, again, I don't really know what Hanson's endgame was, but he's like, yeah, I fucking came all the way out here, I'm Long gonna try sex. to get something. Do you want to tell us anything about what you were doing? Ow! And then he goes, and then he goes, at the beginning, he goes, ow! He's, <laughs> like, in pain, too. Please. Frank, I'm Chris Hanson with Dateline NBC. <laughs> oh. We're doing a story on guys ow. who try to meet children online for sex. Do you want to tell us anything about what you were doing in this chat 
with someone who identified themselves as a 13 year old girl. We are going. We are going. That's like kind of how I imagine, you know, even if they got like Lewis Conrad out of the house, like, and he was in custody, he wasn't going to get an interview with Lewis Conrad. They were going to arrest him. It would be like the same fucking thing. So, you know, again, I don't, I don't know. Didn't think it through really, I guess. Like they're not going to fucking, you know, maybe when they're in custody, they're not going to want to say anything, you know, but also like that fucking sting that they did in Michigan, I guess in 2020, I guess it was, um, they were in custody too, and that didn't stop some of them from talking. I don't really, I never understood that. Like, why would they fucking talk when they're already arrested? Like, I don't get that. Like, they're just gonna talk to this random guy. Like, they think that that's the interrogator. Like, yeah, we brought the interrogator out to the fucking motel, dude. Fuck off, man. These people are fucking stupid. Thirteen-year-old girl. We are going. We are going. Sierra says nothing. <laughs> it is taken away to process. In the car, watch your head. Ugh, he looks. He just looks so Police run down, man. <laughs> Oh, God. Remember that instead of driving his SUV, Sierras rented this car. Nice. Perhaps to throw the... Pontiac G6. I don't know much about the Pontiac G6, but I don't know if that's, like, a good car or not. I mean, it's a Pontiac. I mean, how nice could it be? But, um, you know, how much horsepower it had. It's, it's not bad. Not bad, I guess. But, um, obviously, rest in peace, Pontiac, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, he fucking rents a Pontiac. Like, he rents a car to go there as well. He doesn't want to drive his own car. I wasn't doing anything wrong, man. Lease off. They also find that pink MP4 <laughs> player Sierra yeah, said he was gonna... bringing for the girl. Oh, maybe a little gift? Yeah, maybe a little gift. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, detective. Good job, investigator. You know, fucking puts two and two together there. Oh, yeah, maybe a little gift. Yeah, maybe a little gift. Sierra said he was bringing for the girl. Oh, maybe a little gift? Yeah, maybe a little gift. <laughs> and he so was apparent. So stupid. <laughs> Obviously. Well, maybe he thought, ah, maybe it's, maybe it's his, you know, maybe it's his, you know, maybe it's his pink MP4 player. Again, I would feel like, like, I get that you're getting one for, like, on, on the decoys uh, uh, perspective here. I get that you're getting a free MP4 player, MP3 player, whatever, but, like, I would feel so fucking, like, ugh, I like to have a knockoff, like, an obvious knockoff iPod would just, um, you know, that, 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 I wouldn't, like, it was just, it, I, I don't know, maybe I'm a snob, I guess, but I don't know, but, uh, it would just make me feel, like, I would feel so, like, weird using that, you know, first of all, because it came from the Predator, who's gonna fucking statutorily rape you, and who knows what else, right? But also because, you know, it's just it's just a cheap knockoff. And I get that iPods are fucking expensive, you know. But, um, you know, I mean, just like for me, I would just rather save my money up or ask Santa Claus or a fucking tooth fairy for one, you know. But uh, rather than just, uh, you know, uh, you know, getting a fake one like that, you know. Because if you're going to do something, you got to do it right. You know, you got to do it big. Might as well do it big, right? You know. And you get what you pay for as well. You get what you pay for. I mean, these things probably don't don't work super well they don't last very long the battery life probably sucks you know so uh yeah you get what you pay for yeah <laughs> but i like to imagine that this guy fucking you know went to like a fucking best buy and it was just like fucking just just like he was so happy he's like yes i got my fucking thing you know and he was apparently in a hurry <laughs> to get here along, along with the directions it looks like uh california highway patrol Cited him for speeding, <laughs> and it turns out. <laughs> oh, man, so that's so he's got an expensive ticket to go along with that as well. I know. I just just fuck it. I mean, it is a long drive. I would want to get through it as quickly as possible too. Um, <laughs> so you know, I uh, I get it, but uh, I mean, you gotta you gotta you gotta watch yourself, man. You gotta watch yourself. You know, use cruise control. Fucking, you know, put some tunes on and fucking rock out for your bit. You know, it's nice. You know, a long drive like that could be a little bit relaxing. You know, but I mean, I get it. He's in a fucking rush to uh, to go rape somebody, so <laughs> he's got to uh, he's got to make it. You know, he's, he doesn't want to waste a single second. You know, time is money, as they say. There's violence in Sierra's past. In 1987, he pleaded no contest to a charge of assault and served three months in prison. <laughs> what? It's funny because they bring up that from like 1987. Like, okay, it's fucking 2006. You know, I don't know how old he is. Um, I guess I can find out, right? He says that he's 48. So, I mean, it's probably when he probably was in his 20s, I'm guessing. You know, I mean, it's not like it's like, whoa, he fucking committed assault, you know, when he was in his 20s. 
But, I mean, obviously, don't give them the benefit of the doubt, of course. But I'm just saying, like, whoa, I mean, they're going back pretty far to fucking find that, you know? What kind of danger do you think would be present for a guy like this taking a, a young girl for a ride that long, on a trip that long? He could do anything, and she would be powerless. <laughs> She's a I like how they have to like put that in there too. Like it wasn't like it, like it wasn't obvious enough already about the dangers of this whole situation, right? It wasn't obvious at this point, but you know they had to just throw that in there in case anyone watching was still on the fucking fence. You know they have to they have to put that, put that part in there. You know, away from people she knows and familiar locations. There goes. It Ooh, man, anywhere. that's a nasty looking scalp right there. Oh, I just want to cut that, man. He could take her and shave it. Later, shave it. Sierra's pleaded not guilty to one count of an attempted lewd act on a child. Yeah. His lawyer told us he has no comment. Oh, back. So I don't know what sentence he got. He probably got the Long Beach special. But yeah, that's it. That's Frank Sierra's there. Let's go back to the conviction page real quick. Uh, so let's see. He got, uh, what the fuck? Let's see, let's see, let's see. From an article. Oh, shit. Okay, so. He got significant jail time. Wow. So a, a uh, an interesting one. A uh, compared to the other Long Beach predators, three years in state prison must serve at least eighty percent of that time. Register as a sex offender for life. Oh man, Chinese sex offender for life. Um, yeah. So that's a pretty good sentence for him. Uh, I don't know if there's any new pictures of him or not. If he's on like the if he actually shows up on the. Uh, if he actually shows up on the, uh, oh, excuse me, if he actually shows up on the registered sex offender pages on, uh, I don't think he does, because I don't think there's been a recent picture of him, but yeah, oh, fucking Jeff Sokol, <laughs> I'm leaving, guys, I'm leaving, like, why is Jeff, why is Jeff Sokol here, like, twice, three times here, oh my god, doesn't make much sense, guys, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, guys, let's see. Yeah, they got all these other fucking pictures of him. You guilty of anything, Jeff? I don't know how this turned into a Jeff Sokol thing. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. This guy's like, it's still, it's going alone. Oh, that's pretty good. But yeah, I don't know how Jeff, I don't know how this just turned into a Jeff Sokol thing here. <clears throat> that's okay, that's okay. Uh, that's pretty funny, though. Um, but yeah, Jeff, so that's, uh, Frank. Whoa! Okay, here we go. I didn't see this one. There we go. Ooh, man, that's fucking rough. I knew we would find something, man. You know, you can find anything on the fucking internet, man. Um, wow. Oh, my God. That is a rough picture, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is rough, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. From this to this. Oh, jeez. From this picture, where he's looking all formal and happy, to this. Oh, that's what happens when you mess with kids, Frank. Anyways, I think that's it. I'm glad I found that. Shout out to Rob De Niro. I loved your script. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. So, I guess that'll do it. Fucking 42 minutes. All good. I hope you guys did enjoy. Until next time. See you guys later.